Mind lab show. Now, I've got lots and lots of things happening tonight. Just quickly, I've run over first of all. Luckily, prospecting is back on. We're able to get back out in the field now. You're going to be able to find that uh, you can go to, out to the parks and things in Victoria, in South Australia. Shortly, you're going to be able to do the same in uh, New South Wales. Uh, no camping overnight in Victoria at this stage, but uh, restrictions are starting to uh, ease back a little bit. We're starting to see quite a few pieces of gold and things uh, come in uh, to the stores now. So that's great news. We're able to get back out prospecting. Uh, tonight we've got a pretty big show. So first of all, I just want to mention that um, we've got uh, our prize packs for this evening. And tonight we've got four, four of the MindLab Pro Gold panning kits. Four of those panning kits, $79.95 each. They're a great little kit. They've got um, uh, both a pan, large size, a small finishing pan, as well as a, a sieve uh, to be able to separate your larger rocks out. There's also in there a little instruction guide, a pair of suction tweezers, and you'll also find a couple of little vials, magnifier, and a black sand magnet. So uh, all you need to do, just comment in the uh, feed while you're on the show there, and uh, we'll announce some winners as uh, we start to go through. So there's four of those there, $79 uh, worth value. Absolute, the best panning kit out there on the market. So uh, good luck, hope you can win some of those things. Now you'll find that uh, tonight we're going to have a bit of a chat. Uh, uh, we've got uh, Trevor from Coil Tech who's uh, going to come on and uh, chat to us about his gold extreme coils. So he's uh, just about to come into the feed now. Are you there with us, uh, Trevor? Yeah, all here. How's your, have you got me loud and clear? We have. We've got you loud and clear. That's great. Um, uh, firstly, the 20% off on the Gold Extreme coils has been an absolute smashing offer for uh, people who are using the SDC. We've been finding lots of people coming in. Have you had a coil that uh, you're finding most people are going for or something that they're using um, the, uh, the more than the other ones or they all seem to sell fairly well? Yeah, well, they, they, you're exactly right. Um, we've been seeing there's been a lot of people who are um, uh, there's been a lot of people who've been um, uh, buying the coils and things like that. So we've seen also, as you said, the 14 by 9 seems to give people a bit more ground coverage than um, uh, what we had previously. So uh, that's been uh, quite good. Um, you'll also see um, that uh, we've got the uh, uh, the uh, 10 by 5 coil up there also, so it is starting to look uh, pretty good. Um, what else can you tell us about the coils? They're obviously a very well built, solid coil. Uh, how's that, how are you finding that? Yeah, very good. We've had very um, minimal issues with the construction. Um, you know, uh, it's been very smooth sailing of late. Um, the, the sales have been very strong, uh, Eastern States and, and even in WA. Uh, we're getting some interest from overseas uh, as well, so the SDC is certainly a very capable machine. Um, the 10 by 5 definitely gives it some more sensitivity, so all the feedback that we're getting at the moment, people that are running the 10 by 5 have been able to go back to areas and actually find a little bit more gold that maybe the 8 inch didn't see. So it, it just means that that 10 by 5 has uh, got a, quite a strong magnetic field sensitivity and it's going quite deep too. So if you do have an SDC and you've run it uh, in some areas and you've thrashed it and you've found a lot of little stuff, the 10 by five can give better opportunities to find a little bit more gold. The 14 by nine is gonna look a little bit deeper into the ground and cover some more ground too. So if you are in an open area, the 
14 by 9 is a good one. Um, and the 11 inch actually uh, being a round coil, we tend to have a little bit better depth with round coils because they're, uh, they are broader than the, the narrow ellipticals. So um, that one's going to be very good for, for deep, cut, uh, deep targets. So. Um, so far, everything's been going really well, you know. Okay, we had a few little teething issues at the start, but we've ironed them out now. They're very um, very straight and narrow, and off they go with some good sensitivity. Uh, we had some people over the weekend um, uh, message me and, and show me a few of the targets that they found in areas where they've been with the 8-inch. And uh, one person found, you know, a good 10 tiny little nuggets over an area where he thought he found everything with the 8-inch. So it's been very good. Yeah, well, we... We did see we did see too uh, some people that now they've started to be able to get out a little bit more, um, uh, uh, starting to come in and show us some little pieces that they have been picking up with a ten by five. So look, overall it's been uh, a great little promotion and um, uh, just to sort of wind up here for our chat and thanks for coming on board. Uh, I'm going to put out an extra special offer and it's uh, up on our website now that if we. Um, uh, if you buy a Gold Extreme coil, either the 10 by 5, the 11 inch, or the 14 by 9, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take it, if it's purchased with an SDC, up until the end of May, we're going to take an additional 5% off the coil from Miners Den. So that, uh, with the offer that you've got there, Trevor, uh, that takes a 25% off when you buy basically any one of the Gold Extreme coils with an SDC. Oh, that's a great deal, Dave. That's excellent. Perfect time for an SDC. Absolutely. Uh, a perfect time for another coil. And at these prices, I'm sure they're going to continue to walk out the door like we've seen uh, for the last uh, week or so. That's right. So just a quick shout out to all the followers that we've got out there and, and uh, people that use our products. We do appreciate it. We appreciate your support, Dave. So go out and check out the Miners Den website, get into the stores and get what uh, coil tech products you need. And uh, thanks for having me on. No worries. Fantastic. Thanks, Trevor. Thank you. OK, so that was Trevor from uh, Coiltech there, just giving a bit of a rundown on his, G his extreme coils. Um, what you're finding is uh, people are using them a lot, uh, the 14 by 9 to get a little bit more ground coverage, a little bit more sensitivity with the um, uh, 10 by 5 and you'll be uh, have the best combination of gear with the SDC and uh, a Coiltech extreme coil on. As I said, 25% off. Uh, now we're getting uh, through from that, we're now going towards uh, our top tip for uh, uh, today and the top tip is going to focus on ground balance and on noise cancel. So let's have a look at that and uh, we'll be back with you shortly. If you get any questions, drop them into the feed and we'll see you soon. To the My Lab Show, top tip number two. Today we're going to focus on the CTX 3030 and the Equinox 800, two of the most popular coin and treasure hunting machines in the mine lab range. Firstly, noise cancel or the ability to knock out electromagnetic interference or EMI is what we're going to do first. EMI can come from a number of sources, from radio transmission towers, power lines, underground cables and also quite often a little bit from the atmosphere on an unstable day. An unstable day might be somewhere where we have a storm coming in, could also be an electrical storm especially, will create this kind of interference that we're hearing on the machine now. With this kind of interference it makes it difficult to use the machine and to hear your faint targets. So the first step to doing uh, noise cancel is to press and hold the little squiggly line button up on the top of our machine here and to move ourselves into auto for noise cancel just by pressing up and we will now see auto is now highlighted on the screen. Once that's done, a simple press of the book button and the machine starts to work through a cycle to select the best frequency for us to operate on given the interference that's in the area where here we are in the park. The advantage of having your noise cancel done properly and before you start detecting is that your machine will be able to run much smoother, making it more pleasurable to detect and also much, much easier for you to hear the interference, hear the targets over the interference or the noise that we were hearing initially. We've now done the noise cancel and we can now hear that the CTX is now nice and stable and very easy to use. So just have a listen to that there for a moment. That's it. In a nutshell, noise cancel is done on this machine. It's ready to uh, uh, have a look at our ground balance now.
Okay, we've done the noise cancel on the CTX 3030. Now we're going to take you through how to do a ground balance. Ground balance on the 3030 will help us uh, knock out the effects of false signals, enable us to hear our targets a little bit better because the machine is running smoother and it's very simple to do. The first thing that we need to do is press our ground balance button on the CTX 3030 and our ground balance menu comes up on the screen. You'll see here we have a little checkbox and by pressing the book button or the centre button on the 3030, we're able to actually hit that book button and it then says ground balance enabled. You'll see now there's a little tick in there. From here, we use the down arrow or the bottom button on the 3030 uh, to go down to start ground balance, then simply a matter of pushing the book button and we'll hop it up and down. Now, as I do this, you should be able to hear the sound will be out when we first start, but it should come back into balance very quickly and uh, we're then right to have our ground balance completed. So let's see how we go. Pressing the book button. And we can hear here as we're going up and down, we can't actually hear much sound here. It's telling us uh, to raise it lower. The ground balance is now complete. So what that tells me is that this soil is very benign. So we didn't actually hear the variation like what we heard on the Equinox uh, 800. But given there's no variation, the machine's in balance, uh, I don't have to worry. I'm just right to go on prospecting. We've just done the noise cancel on the CTX 3030. And we can see what a difference that made in being able to make the machine more stable so that we can hear the targets better. Here what we're listening to is the Equinox 800 and the sound coming out where it is noisy. So we're going to take you through the same procedure to enable you to knock out the noise from EMI, which is interference from power lines, radio transmission towers, a little bit from underground cables, and also some from the atmosphere when the weather is changeable. To do it on the noise cancel or knock out the interference with the Equinox 800, we simply press the little cog button in the middle here once and we will see our little uh, noise cancel or uh, squiggly line come up on the screen just below our park mode there. Once we have that, all we need to do is then to press the uh, tick cross button and the machine is doing its own noise cancel to select the best frequency on which to operate given the interference in the area we're here. As I've said before, if it's operating nice and smooth, it makes it much easier to listen for your targets, much easier to hear your fainter targets, your detecting and your timeout will be much more pleasurable. That is how simple it is to do a noise cancel on the Equinox 800. Okay. We've done our EMI, so we've knocked out all the effects of EMI that's in the area. And now, the next thing we need to do when we're detecting, and this is especially true if we're in salty conditions or in highly mineralised ground, is to ground balance our machine. Ground balancing our machine means that it's going to reduce the amount of false signals we get off from mineralisation or salty ground, making it easier for us to hear the targets that we're wanting, our coins, our relics and treasure. So. As we ground balance a machine, if we hop the machine up and down as it is now, we'll hear what this machine sounds like, the Equinox 800, when it's out of balance. We can hear how that sound is varying as we come up and down. So, to knock out those false signals or that sound, we're going to use our cog button in the middle, settings button, we're going to press it and we've come up with our uh, ground balance on the screen here. At the moment we're currently set at 59, but if we press and hold the tick cross button, you will find that this will now go into automatic ground balance mode. Once we're hopping the machine up and down, the sound has disappeared. The machine is ground balanced, a simple back to our detect button and we're able to go off and start detecting for our targets without the interference from the ground mineralisation. Now if you get into some really salty ground or if you get into some highly mineralised gold fields, you're still going to find that the machine is going to give you some little bits of uh, ground balance noise uh, from the mineralisation. In that case, what we're suggesting you do is that we turn on the automatic ground button uh, or the automatic ground track on our machine. So to turn on the automatic ground track, we're able to go 
into our uh, settings button again, press and hold the tick, and we'll see up on the screen here a little squiggly line has come up. This has now set our machine to automatic ground balance, and we're right to go. Automatic ground balance enables this machine to automatically update to the changing signals in the ground. Again, in highly mineralised or very salty grounds, you're going to need to move very slowly with the machine so that it's able to keep up, or the processor in the machine is able to keep up with the changes in the ground mineralisation. That's ground balance on the Equinox 800. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed that guys. That's noise cancelling and ground balance on the CTX 3030 and the Equinox 800. Top tip number two, plenty more to come in future weeks. Okay, welcome back again. I uh, hope you all enjoyed the top tip. That was just the um, uh, one that we put together uh, in the last couple of days and we're still learning lots. Uh, I believe there was some issue with the audio a little earlier, so apologies for that. We'll try and get that better as uh, we do future episodes. Now, I wanted to have a, a quick chat uh, about uh, the Sovereign Coins again. Uh, for those of you who watched last week, you would have seen that I actually had a fake Sovereign that was minted uh, to get extra value for the gold, uh, and apparently the Saudi Arabians were doing this uh, back in the, the 70s. Well, during the week, I had a customer come in to sell some gold, and uh, that customer uh, bought some coins and things that he had previously, and he wanted to sell another coin. Uh, this time uh, we had a coin that was uh, uh, recovered from a sunken uh, ship and it was uh, uh, rather interesting because once that treasure had been recovered and some of it went across to uh, the mints and things like that, they then made a commemorative box uh, for this uh, sovereign. It's an 1876 uh, sovereign, uh, an English sovereign, and they got sunk when the uh, ship sunk. There were quite a few of them minted, so uh, two in two weeks. One was a fake, but uh, this week's one I was really, really happy about. Now, we'll get uh, a couple of the uh, prize winners uh, that have come through. So we've got um, Ben R and also Mick B. Congratulations, guys. Just send your details through uh, on the feed. We'll get those uh, in the mail to you tomorrow, and there's a couple more still to go. I will also mention with the special offer that we had on there with the Qualtech calls, the extra 5%, that will also go to another uh, accessory kit. If you're needing the accessory kit, if you haven't had one of these coils before, you do need the accessory kit to be able to put that on. So thank you for someone picking that up. Uh, there, it's an essential part of it. And look, 5% will also go on to that also. With the Opening up of the gold fields here in Victoria, uh, starting to in New South Wales, uh, soon they're going to be able to head out there from uh, early June and in South Australia. We're now starting to run our training sessions again. So I know there's a lot of you there that have bought equipment from us, the uh, better machines in the SDCs, the GPX series, and also uh, the top of the range, MindLab GPZ7000. Those training sessions are now starting up again. So I know there's a couple of sessions in Victoria uh, before the end of the month. Uh, towards the end of uh, June, I believe we've got a session running up in New South Wales and shortly we'll be able to put up the sessions for Adelaide uh, in the Adelaide Hills there. So now's the opportunity, jump on. If those sessions get booked out quickly, we'll then we'll put some more on and uh, come in, get your free training session, get yourselves back out in the gold fields. Um, per perfectly good uh, social distancing and lots and lots of gold coming up. Great weather for being out there at the moment. So training back on also now. Uh, we've been going through cleaning up uh, some demo machines and bits and pieces that we've got around the shops at the moment and in amongst uh, one of my uh, uh, storage points uh, we've managed to uncover one, one only GPX 4500. That's right, these machines haven't been around for a while. We've got one that uh, we're able to sell as a new machine, full warranty. We've gone out and we've put that up on our Facebook page and I think we'll put the link into the feed here if anyone's interested. Started at a dollar, so let's just see what it goes to. Um, if you're wanting to get a 45, this is extremely the last uh, chance of you being able to get that. So the link will be into the, the feed for you. Um, it's up on our eBay site and uh, please, uh, if you're wanting one, last chance. 
So that's a, a great thing that we've got happening. We're also starting to see a lot more pieces of gold come in, uh, as I said earlier. There's lots and lots of nuggets. I saw one the other week that was about four and a bit ounces that have been found just recently. I'm also seeing lots and lots of small stuff that we're buying through the stores with the price of gold so high. There's many people who are also cleaning out, taking the opportunity to clean out the, some of their smaller pieces and convert it to, to cash. So that's uh, what we had here is uh, the prize packs that are up and running and we've got another couple of people that uh, have got a prize pack now. So Robert J, congratulations. You've uh, scored yourself a prize pack. And Alicia M, Alicia M, you've also got yourself the Mind Lab Pro Gold Panning Kit. Absolutely fantastic prize tonight and uh, congratulations to all the lucky winners. I'll just give you a couple of uh, quick bits of information now on uh, what we've got coming up in the next few days. We'll be putting an email out, so if you're not on our email list, please jump on. We're about to launch our certified MindLab secondhand detectors page. What this means is that those detectors have come back in, they've been checked over by our service technician in Bendigo, and Ross has uh, been repairing and uh, checking out machines for years, so he will have them in tip-top shape. They'll be as purchased secondhand as though everything that came new with the machine was there. Uh, some bits will be new because we find faulty will part, well, we'll obviously change it out and put a new part in there. We'll have an option up there for you to be able to purchase those on our website in the next few days. Equally so, if you're a person who has some second-hand machines, uh, mine lab machines around and would like to move them on, uh, we are going to be able to do a check on the machine for you and once it's been checked, there will be a small fee, we're then able to actually put those up on uh, our certified uh, website page if it's got some warranty with it from MindLab, well then that is transferable, but all machines will come with a minimum of three month warranty on uh, this equipment. Uh, so it'll give people a good opportunity to be able to buy knowing that it's uh, Miners Den is standing behind uh, this MindLab certified secondhand website. Uh, you'll know that the machine's in perfect working order for a secondhand machine. It should mean that you can buy with confidence and uh, uh, not end up having a machine that isn't as it was originally or not working as it should be. This is a, a great way to, to get yourself some uh, better value machines. There'll be a whole range of them going up. If you want to sell your machine, talk to us in the stores. We'll be able to get that up on there for you, get it all cleaned up and uh, again, you should get a better price if you're selling it and the buyers will be able to buy with absolute confidence. Uh, the next show, we're going to do one more show coming up uh, in the next couple of weeks. So it's going to be on Wednesday, the 3rd of June. Uh, it's a Mind Lab show. It's going to kick off again at around about 10 past 8. Um, I'm open to some feedback. If people would like the show to be a little bit earlier or a little bit later, please let us know in the feed and uh, we'll see what we can fit in to uh, accommodate and get the most people watching. Until then, good luck. May all your nuggets be big, heavy and yellow. The Mind Lab show.